Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm just going to go over, because this these are going to be the monthly readings, I want to go over um, the astrological part of your readings for this month. Okay, May. Um, May 26th is going to be the full moon. Okay, and the, it's going to be the full moon eclipse in Sagittarius. And this is a great time um, to clear away things, you know, get rid of things, um, things that you want, things that you don't want. So to kind of change things up, you know, kind of reflect on the things that you want and the things that you don't want and get rid of the things that you don't want anymore. Okay, Jupiter is going to be leaving. Um, it's going to be moving into Pisces um, this month. So uh, the new moon which will be on the 11th, May 11th, in most of the parts of the country, um, is going to be in Taurus. Um, and that is um, all about abundance, okay? It's a great for intention setting and bringing things to a new level when it comes to your monies. So um, make sure that you are doing some intentions this month. Um, you know, around the 11th when it has to do with money. So you can bring that um, gains with the abundance up. So you, more money can come to you, okay? Things um, to kind of work on this month would be uh, your luck, changing your luck. Um, it's a great time to change luck. It is another great time to let go of the past, letting go of things that, uh, you know, we can't control. You know, we can't go back. We can't bring that back. So we want to change that. We want to get rid of those things from the past that no longer serve us any purpose. Um, they just bring us down. So, so try to work on that. And then also reconstructing your life. You know, reconstruct the way that you want things to run. You know, kind of do a little bit of soul searching and do, uh, do a little bit. Great time for meditation um, this month also. So that's a little bit of things that, um, you know, we can work on astrologically wise. And, you know, remember that, that full moon, 26th, is, <clears throat> it is that eclipse in Sagittarius. So clearing things out, great, great, great time. And May 11th, uh, abundance. So great things that are coming in this month in May. So I'll stop there. We'll get on with your readings and I'll see you in a little while. Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm going to be doing your monthly reading for my Pisces for May of 2021. Hope you guys had a great month, great week, great day. Um, all of the kids, uh, this week, uh, we brought all the kids back, um, to school, most of them, um, in them from kindergarten, well, pre-K to junior high, um, has been brought back for, we don't have the, the, well, they can go virtual, I believe, um, but, but most of the kids are back in school, so it was a very, very, very busy week for us, um, at work. So this week flew by for me, um, it is very, very quick. So I'm hoping this weekend does not fly as fast as uh, the week did. It's because it was a very, very busy week. Um, so, but anyways, let's get on with your reading and see what's going to be going on with you guys. I've got two more shuffles here. We'll get on with your reading. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Pisces needs to know for May of 2021, please? May of 2021. I can't believe it's May already. I can't, I can't. Crazy. So far, they look good.
All right, let's see what's going on. You look good, guys. <clears throat> All right. First cards I'm going to read are your inner cards. These are the cards that are here now or the cards that are closest to you. I'll push this open just a little bit. I feel like I'm looking at the top of my head. Okay, so first card that I have for you guys is the Seven of Spades. This is the clouds. And uh, this is... Uh, ensures domestic happiness. So that is awesome. Domestic happiness is coming to you. It's here for you and it's going to be there. The king of clubs is the bear success, motherly success, loving success, caring success. Um, you will get all that uh, through caring and loving and nurturing um, success. The nine of diamonds is the heart. Great joy is coming. Great joy is here. Great joy is near. Nine of hearts. This is the ship and this is riches. Riches through wealth. Um, you're going to gain some wealth through an inheritance of some sort or working in a trade industry, working with your hands. Something to do with your hands. That is where you will gain some money. Um, it also foretells a voyage, um, maybe a vacation of some sort that you might be going on having to do with water, um, maybe spending some time on some water or around, surrounded by water or within water or something along that nature. Um, that you may be going through. It can also be talking about a water sign, a uh, a cancer, wow, a cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces may be coming into you. Two of clubs. This is a railroad, and a journey that you've been going on, it's been long, it's been tedious, it's been rugged, and this journey, whatever you, it is that you guys have been going through, it's about to end. New things are going to start to come to you, and this journey that you went has, have been going through is going to end for you. If you are single, you will meet a new love, and it will be in a park setting, a park-like setting, an outdoor-type setting. Calm things are going to come to you. The eight of clubs, this is a snake. So um, things are going to be a lot calmer this week, this month for you than it has been. The jack of spades. This is, um, you have a, an intense love of life and a strong feeling towards other people. You love being with other people. You love spending time with other people. Um, that's where you get your joy from is um, the intense love that you have of life and for other people. So that is an amazing trait to have. Um, wish we all had it, right? All right, so the next cards that I am going to read to you are your outer cards. These are the cards that are out there and they're waiting to come into you. Five of Diamonds. This ensures a success. Um, you're going to be successful in all of your adventures, in business and in love, but you need to stay where you're at. Don't leave the person that you're with if you are with somebody. Um, if you are in a job or have a job, don't leave that job because your success is going to happen there. The next card that I have for you is the Seven of Diamonds, and this is the uh, fire card. This puts that protective um, barrier around you so that no harm can come to you this month. So that is a great card to get. It can also mean a fire sign. So in Aries, a uh, Leo or a Sagittarius may be coming into you also. Five of Hearts. This is the moon card. This is a good omen. Good things are going to be predicted. Good fortunes for you. Um, this is a, a great card to get. It can also be talking about an air sign. Okay. It can be talking about a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. You guys have a lot of people that are coming into you this month. Three of hearts. This is the sun card. This is a happiness and popularity you want to come into you. You are um, the happiness and the popularity are coming in. Queen of Diamonds, this is the children's card, okay? This is a signifier of children. Um, if you have children, keep your children close to you, um, or you may get children. Um, and maybe you are looking to have children. This is a good indicator of children, keeping children. Be gentle with your children um, and friendly. If you don't want children, you don't have children, then 
spend some time with some children. Look at their eyes. Look at the way that they look at things. You know, everything is new to them and it's beautiful. And, you know, they look at things so innocently, you know, kind of look at that and show them how gentle you are, you can be and that friendly disposition that you have. King of Spades is the bride. This ensures that if you are single, you are going to find somebody that will fulfill you to your highest hopes. If you are attached um, or if you are married, you're going to have a little bit of rockiness in your marriage, a little bit of turbulence um, going on there. But if you are single, this is a great card um, that you're going to find somebody, domestic happiness, everything looks good in that aspect. The next card I have is the Queen of Hearts. This is the ring. Um, and this is, you will find the right person. The right person is there. You're going to have a rich and a happy marriage. Um, you know, engagement, you know, that things, um, you know, that is going to be wonderful and happy and it's going to fulfill you. The Ace of Clubs. This is the road. Okay, you guys. This um, is a road that you think that you should have gone down another path. And the path that you are on now is the path you should be on. Okay. This is the path that um, that you chose before you came down here as a learning path, a learning curve. Everything that happens, everything that happens, every person that happens, every situation that happens is for you to learn from. Okay, the path that you thought that would have been better is maybe it didn't, wouldn't be better. You know, it could have been turned down a different road. It could have turned down worse than, you know. So you have to look at that as in that way. You know, the this path that you're on is the path that you should be on. You're going down the right path. Okay, so that is your main reading, Pisces. All right. Let's talk to universe. Universe, give me um, some clarification on that reading or add to that reading that I just did for my Pisces, please, for May of 2021. Four shuffles. Two more. One more. We have the iceberg, we have the mountain, the ocean, the eagle, the island, and the meadow. Okay, so they want you to spend some time in solitude to get yourself, you know, in check. Look deep down into yourself. What? It, why do I do these things? Why, you know, what it is I really, really want? Do I want this? Do I want that? You know, look deep down in yourself. Do some time and spend some time meditating. Um, that can, or maybe five minutes of just doing nothing, just sitting there and just not doing anything, trying to get that thoughts in your head that are going 120 miles a minute, you know, out and just for five minutes, just sit and just go, I'm not thinking about nothing, you know, for five minutes. See if that helps. You know, life is like ebb and flow right? The ocean goes out, it comes in, it goes out, it comes in, the tides go out. And life is like that. You know, it's karma. You know, good things come in, good things, you know, bad things come in, good things come in, bad, good, bad. It's basically what we put out into the universe is what's going to come back to us. Put that good stuff out there. That good stuff is going to come back. Put that negative out there. That negative is going to come back. So we always want to do that, you know, positive. Put that positive stuff out there. Um, they want you to communicate. You know, you, uh, communicate. Show, tell people your feelings. Tell people how you feel, what it is you want. You know, talk. Talk to universe if there's nobody to talk to. Talk to your angels, your guides, your spirit, your God, whatever you guys believe in, your higher power. You know, be vulnerable to that. And, um, you know, spend some time um, talking about things that you want. You know, sometimes a little cry. 
sometimes it does help or just you know being a little bit um vulnerable so that we can tell a side of us that maybe people don't know about to somebody else you know you guys have the strength to overcome anything you have that power you have that strength don't stay hidden get out there you know get out there and spend time with others and talk the biggest thing is communication all right <clears throat> so let's talk to spirit Spirit, give me a card that Pisces need to hear for May of 2021. A postcard, a, a postcard that they need to hear here. Give me a postcard that Pisces needs to hear for May of 2021, please. I'm going to take this one that the one that flew out, not the seven that fell on the table. Okay, dear you. There is a balance between activity and rest, ebb and flow. You can't have one without the other. If you are faced with an obstacle right now, the best course is surrender and non-resistance. Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life. Go with the flow, and in no time you'll reach what you have your heart and hope set on. Just remember, spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the currents. When it's time for a greater effort, you'll know exactly when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow cycles of your life, but as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust those currents, for we're right there with you, with our little umbrella drinks, smiling at your success. Love you so very much. So balance the activities that we have in life. You know, that rest, activity and rest, right? Balance that out um, and balance life out. Sometimes we need to balance things. You know, that ebb and flow, that in and out, that in and out. Thing, good things, bad things, right? Um, that, you know, the flow, go with, go with the flow of things. Just let it come and let it go and let it come and let it go and you find that it's so much easier in life if we don't dwell on every single thing right? all right so i thought it'd be fun um this month since our uh, ast astrologically um it's all about abundance okay so i have a deck and it's called notes from the universe of abundance or on abundance. And it, this is by Mike Dooley. And I thought it'd be fun to just pull a card from that for abundance for us. So give me a card for abundance for Pisces, please. Here is your card. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Question. What do rich people daydream and visualize about? Answer, yeah, whatever they want. Question, and what do poor folks daydream and visualize about? Answer, yeah, whatever they want. <laughs> You're coming along so quickly, the universe. So what does, what do rich people and poor people think about the same thing, right? We think about, they think about whatever they want to think about. Right? So what you think is what you get. You put good positive things out there and good positive things are going to come back to you. Okay. I love that. That is beautiful. They're coming along. You're coming along so quickly. My dears. All right. Let's pull your last card. And this is a reflection card for you guys for the month of May. For Pisces, give me a reflection card for Pisces, please. Pisces, 
My thoughts are creative. My thoughts are creative. I say out to everyone negative. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me read that again. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me. For I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. You have the power to create your own reality. You're the only one that can do it. You need to take the negative thoughts and push them out of your mind as they come. You know, no, nobody, no person, no place, no thing has power over you. Nobody. You're the power of your own mind. You're the power of your own thinking. You're the power, you're the one that can create your own reality. My thoughts are creative. So that is your reflection card for the month of May. I hope this helps you guys. Remember that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing May and week. And I'll see you next week uh, for your weekly reading. I love you guys. Have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful rest of your day. Until next time.